everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to another episode of 10 p.m. University. Um, so today we will be doing a, a very interesting um, topic. And uh, this topic, everyone knows about this stuff, and but still we never get an opportunity to, to think about the scientific aspect of it, right? And in some societies, it's even considered a bad practice. So let's get started. So today's topic will be about health benefits of 0% beer. Uh, before I uh, do this video today, before our podcast today, I just wanted to uh, make it very clear. I'm not advertising drinking. Uh, I'm not encouraging anyone to drink out there. Uh, so if you are someone who, uh, after listening to my podcast today, say, oh yeah, I'm gonna go out and uh, have a drink. Well, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is to educate people about the benefit of 0% beer. When you talk about 0% means, I'm usually referring to non-alcoholic beer. That being said, in some countries, you are not allowed to buy even the non-alcoholic beer if you are under a certain age. For instance, in New Zealand, if you go to supermarket, right, and if you are someone who looks uh, under 18, they won't serve you, they won't let you buy uh, 0% beer, even though you can argue, oh, it doesn't, uh, it, you know, the 0% beer don't have enough uh, amount of alcohol. It's, sometimes it has 0.05% or it's less than a, a percent. Uh, alcohol content, right? That being said, right, it's all depends upon your country law and in the way you are. And so if you are someone who is under 18 and thinking to drink 0% beer, well, I would encourage you to check out your country laws, right? Please don't go and start drinking just because I say so. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm here to educate you about the health benefits of drinking 0% beer compared to a, an alcoholic beer, right? So let's dive in. Right, so the first thing, what and normally an alcohol beer or alcoholic beer is like 5% or 8% does to your body, it, it dehydrates your body because it's, it's a normal thing, right? You drink a lot of beer and you need to go to a restroom to, or, you know, to Lou where we uh, to you know to urinate right because it uh, because the water content is uh, is taken out from your body right but in case of a zero percent beer it's not the case it's actually good for you it's good for rehydration uh, studies have shown that if you are uh, drinking a beer which is under two percent it's actually uh, good for your body in terms of uh, hydration because it won't dehydrate instead it's it will rehydrate right so uh, there was a uh, research done in United States so what they've done they uh, analyzed uh, you know uh, people who do bodybuilding or people who do intense sports right and after uh, their workout right as a part of the post workout, uh, someone recommended, okay, let's have a beer, a, a, a pint of beer, a uh, 5% uh, ABV or whatever you call. Um, and they've noticed that they were able to uh, recover faster, uh, you know, because of after the intense workout. But it can cause a bit of uh, hydration issue at the same time. So... What they've done, they've studied the similar group of people uh, with uh, 0% beer and they surprisingly found out that it helps with rehydration and is even helping them with post-workout recovery, right? Right, so that leads to my uh, second uh, benefit. That's It's good for your heart health. It's good for your cardiovascular health. The reason why it is good, because... Beer contains a compound, right? Polyphenol, which is actually, you know, derived from hops because beer are main ingredients. Well, hop is one of the, the main ingredients of, of making beer, right? So it contains uh, polyphenol, which is actually good for your uh, cardiovascular health. Be reason being, it helps with blood pressure uh, and it helps with inflammation, right? Because a hop has this uh, medicinal properties uh, if you're consumed in the right amount, that it, it can help with uh, blood pressure and inflammation, right? So that's why it's good for your uh, cardiovascular health. Right, so it also helps 
uh, with um, bone mineral density, right? If you are someone who struggles with uh, bone mineral density, then perhaps uh, have a look at zero uh, percent uh, beer. I mean, probably you need to check out with the doc doctor first, right? Because I'm not a physician, right? So don't take my advice for it. There, there are certain uh, research done out there where um, researchers have suggested that it uh, reduces the risk of osteoporosis. Uh, I'm not sure how true that is, but there are some studies done in the United States, in Canada, in Israel, even in uh, um, Sweden. So there are different studies done uh, with this uh, area. And that's where uh, the researchers have found out the effect of the zero percent beer. I don't know what compound inside the beer that constitutes for, for this uh, bone density uh, increase. Uh, but either way, so so the drinking 0% beer have advantage on this aspect as well. Right, the final thing, it helps with good sleep, right? If you have uh, someone who followed my previous podcast where I uh, talked about advantage of having a good sleep, so you can really appreciate that how 0% beer can help you with that because the reason being, uh, beer contain hops, right? And hops contain these two uh, compounds uh, I'm sorry, I'm not good with pronouncing this to name. Uh, let me give it a try anyways. It's Santo Humol and um, Mircinol, right? I'm sorry uh, if, if someone, a chemist or, or a doctor out there who thinks that I pronounced the name in the wrong way, my apologies. So I, I don't know how to pronounce this one, right? So what I'm trying to say is that it contains hob, but it has the sedative uh, effect, so it helps you with a better sleep. Right, there was, uh, I think back in the um, 1960s, uh, a person who uh, was struggling to sleep, what he did, he bought a lot of hops and, and you know, stuffed inside a pillow and tried to sleep, right? Oh, well, today, we you, there you go. If you're someone who's struggling to sleep, perhaps give a try with 0% uh, beer if you're an adult, if you're, uh, if you're above uh, drinking age, right? Although 0% uh, in America, certain states that lets you buy, even if you're under under drinking age, uh, in, in New Zealand, you can't, right? I'm not sure about Australia, how it works. Uh, so yeah, depending upon uh, your country laws. So if you are someone, an adult, right? If you don't have any other, uh, you know, physical issues or, or, or health issues, in other way, I would put that way. My apologies for saying uh, other term. Um, so perhaps give a try with the 0% beer. I understand that many beer drinkers, well, even, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of beer drinking, right? I, I brew my own beers times. Um, so I do appreciate beer, and uh, what I often do that uh, once in uh, once in every uh, two months, I I, I drink uh, two to three weeks uh, weekend just uh, zero percent beer. Uh, we get different zero percent beers. If you if you are into Pilsner, you get Pilsner. We get Bitburger. That's that's a German beer. They have zero drive, and they have uh, you know, and even we got Krumbach. From my chair, from my hair, however you pronounce it, in Germany. So we got the wheat version of it. Uh, we got the Pilsner version of it, and we get Baltica. That's a Russian beer. That's again uh, a lager beer. So that's zero percent as well. I haven't seen much stout or porter in New Zealand. Maybe they they do, but I haven't come across that yet. Um, or other, or sometimes I prefer to you know drink uh, you know two percent beer. I don't drink beer just for the sake of getting drunk. I mean, I don't. I don't. I appreciate getting drunk at all these days because I, I don't enjoy being drunk, you know, to you know, to be in a state of mind where I don't know what I'm doing. That's really not what I, I enjoy doing, it, right? So uh, so if you're someone who uh, actually want to socialize, you know, and, and you're not into alcohol consumption, then you can even, you know, stick to 0% beer. Even uh, you will get 0% beer in, in certain countries where uh, drinking is forbidden, right? In Middle East, some countries, I don't want to name any specific, but, you know, what I'm, what I'm getting into. Right, so, yeah, check it out. I mean, if you're if you are interested into beer, uh, you know, give a try with the 0% beer. If you're someone who's struggling with, you know, alcohol, probably, you know, getting into 0% is a good start, it, you know, because it's always good to slow down. Right, because it's not good to drink too much of alcohol. It's not good for your body at all, right? So zero percent beer, it can be a substitute. I like the taste of the beer, but yes, uh, you know, if you're a professional beer drinker, you you will say, hey, look, zero percent beer is not really a beer. But yeah, I understand what he's what he's trying to say. But but it's just for uh, the reason why I made this video so that people are aware 
about the health benefits because uh, you know people will drink beer but you know most of them don't understand the scientific facts behind the, the beer and beer has a lot of vitamins as well and minerals as well so it's it's good for your body in that sense as well right uh, and beer is way 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 better than coca-cola or, or the sugary garbage that's out there and i've seen that the parents buy that to the young kids and you know like under four i mean it's just it's just like total shocking it just the carbonated sugary coca-cola oh my goodness i mean i mean I, let's not even get into it i don't drink coca-cola i hate it because it's something which is very bad for my health i don't you know i i would it would you know yeah, I mean, that's a different debate. I don't want to get into the, the Coca-Cola versus beer debate. But what I'm trying to say is that it's way better than sugary uh, beer. There are uh, beer which has very high in sugar, so you need to watch out with that as well, right? So read the ingredients before you buy beer. It's always good to uh, read ingredient, what you are putting inside in your uh, mouth, right? Because it's very essential. It's your body. You need to be responsible for what you're eating, what you're drinking, right? I mean, you can't just cl or close your eyes and trust the supermarket or whoever brand. You need to read it because it's your life, right? So that's all I wanted to say today. So I hope you got you guys get some value out of this podcast. So uh, as I mentioned uh, last time, I will uh, start a weekly series, right? You know, where I talk about health, uh, only health for that week. And then we got, uh, we're going to talk about mathematics. And we're going to talk about uh, probably computer science. If you wanted to learn some programming, we'll get into that as well. Uh, well, it's not a boot camp, so I'm just going to get you started. If you're someone looking to be a programmer, I'll get you started because I've been programming for almost 15 years. So, you know, I can tell you what to do, what not to do and kind of stuff. Right. And we're going to talk about uh, philosophy. If you are someone who, uh, who like Plato, or, you, know, you know, we're going to talk about that as well. And we might even talk about, you know, art and music, you know, history behind it. I'm not a musician, but we it's good to know a bit about our history and kind of stuff, right? So we'll get there. As my channel grow, probably I'll bring other people as well to talk about it, right? And probably we can reach out to some of the world leaders. Eventually, if you wanted me to make a video with someone, right, I will probably try my best as my channel grow, right? We can probably, you know, do that as well. Okay, that being said, thank you so much for listening to me today. Uh, wherever you are, I would say adios uh, and greetings from New Zealand. Bye-bye.